If you have lots of web traffic, you should consider doing conversion rate optimization. It's a proven method of delivering incremental improvements over time. Now, you don't have to be a big business for conversion optimization to be useful, but you have to have enough traffic to make it worth the time and money that you'll put into it. So this is better for established businesses rather than startups. All we're trying to do is say a certain amount of traffic comes to the website, what can we do to get more of them to convert? Now there's three levels. The first level is based around advice. And that just involves understanding the consumer behavior, the purchase pattern, and reviewing the website and looking at what's not working and what could be done better. At that point, conversion optimization is around recommendations that will improve things. And my experience is they improve things significantly. The second stage is analysis. That's digging deeper into the data. It also involves tools like heat mapping and bits and pieces. And that's really good at picking blockages and areas that just aren't quite working as they should. But the third level is, is experimenting. And this is my favorite by far. A-B testing, split testing, whatever you want to call it. Now at this point, we come up with hypotheses to say, let's say on the home page, having the image over here against having the image over here, it should do a lot better up here. Now, we put that out there and consumers are shown a random page, either this one or this one. And at the end of a certain period of time, usually a month or six weeks, we look at the figures. And if it shows not much difference, well, it just sits there. But if it shows a significant difference, then we can see that this pattern is worth implementing. And that's what happens, that becomes implemented. And then that increase happens ongoing. While that's happening, we might move on to other pages and try other hypotheses. And what's great about this is every month there's some little incremental movement that goes up and up and up and up. Now it's not uncommon to see increases in conversion of 20 to even 100% from conversion optimization. Certainly A-B testing will give you 2 to 5%, depending on the website of course, every month or every time you're testing. So that's incremental stuff and that keeps going and going and going. It's a fantastic opportunity, but you've got to have the traffic there first. But if you're getting the people to the site, this is one of the quickest and surest ways that you can improve your bottom line.